Joel. Hey, what's up? <laughs> hey, what's up? I'm here with Joel and Nick of Baptizing Blood, guys. What's going on? Oh, you know, just uh, chilling at Heavy To, missing the fuck out of Anthrax right now. Yeah, <laughs> seriously, you're bummed about that, right? I am. I am really stoked. Oh, I'm really stoked to like. As soon as I'm done this interview, I'm going straight back there, yeah. and I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get a picture with Belladonna. We're just gonna hang. We're gonna get drunk for the rest of the day. You're jumping in the pit immediately. Yes, exactly. Nick, how you doing, bud? I'm doing great. You're wearing a Pink Floyd T-shirt. I am. I got this uh, in England, in a really like vintage market area in England. And I'm like, where, where's a better place to buy a Pink Floyd shirt than England? So that's where I got it. It's a nice shirt. I enjoy it. Now you guys were talking about England off record here, and then we hit record, and you were telling me that you guys met Dave Grohl in yeah. Uh, England. Yeah. yeah. It was, uh, it was crazy. We were at a place called Crowbar. Okay. If anybody out there knows what Crowbar is, well, you should know what Crowbar is. And if you don't, go check it out now. It's like this little piddly dick bar in the middle of fucking nowhere. And um, yeah, it's it, it's crazy. Anyway, <laughs> long story short, we're in the bar. Uh, we got a text message actually before we got to the bar that he was there. Showed up and no sight of him. So I got a beer, chilling against a wall. Look to the left, or to the right, sorry. Gotta, gotta figure it out. <laughs> and uh, here comes Grolzy, just chilling. I'm like, what's up, dude? And what do you uh, call him Grolzy? Oh, you know, we're, we're tight now. We've, <laughs> we've hung out for two minutes. It's, it's, it's sweet. So, um, you know, uh, looked like he was leaving. Yeah. Gotta go get the, the classic picture. Oh, if, did you get one? If you're, uh, if you're on Facebook or whatever, and you happen to find me, or Twitter, or whatever it is, check it out and there's a picture of me literally shitting my pants as I'm getting my picture taken with Dave Grohl but this guy's picture is through the roof you got to tell him that story let's say let's hear it well yeah basically he got the picture first and whenever we start hanging out with girls he for about two minutes like he said and it, this is like a dream come true for all of us like I mean it's Dave Grohl for God's sake yeah so he pours a bunch of shots for everyone at the bar and we're pounding them and me and Josh, our other guitar player there, who I'm sure you've done many interviews with, um, end up getting an amazing picture with him. It looks like we've just been partying all night, yeah. but we really haven't been. But so his story, it, his story, it's, it's awesome. I was like rubbing beards with Grolzy. I was kind of like shaving like I am now, but he's full scruff at the moment. So like, I get a full beard and is that a beard touch? Grolzy. Oh, it was. Yeah. It was a dream come yeah, true. Immediately go home so Nick could change his underwear. It was yeah, amazing. Nice. Yeah. I actually have a, a me and Dave Grohl photograph on my fridge. Oh yeah. And uh, I was really young, so I look really, really excited. I took I took my photo and I put it into Photoshop and actually like put a border around it. You know, like those fail photos where everybody's yeah. got those fail pictures. Yeah. I did mine. It says the moment, and then like <laughs> has like the date below it and everything. Oh, nice. Amazing man. Uh, favorite Foo Fighters record, I guess. Or let's say, let's say favorite Dave Grohl record. No, 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 no. You can't do that to um, me. Favorite Foo Fighters record is the first one. I would one. say, well, Robot? Kind of Robot? Significant sentimental purposes, the color and shape is like one of the best albums ever written, so I, in my opinion. Um, but their new album is blowing me away more and more every day. It's, yeah. it's so amazing. I'm and the way they did it, they did it analog in his garage yeah, yeah, and yeah. it's just like it just sounds so good and it's just like so passionate and just awesome record from from Foo Fighters man. I think we can go on record and say that Dave Grohl is the nicest guy in rock and roll. Not only yeah. the nicest guy in rock and roll but the nicest rock star period like yeah. there is no other guy who will like set aside a couple moments for a bunch of people he's yeah. never met in his yeah. entire life to make sure that they and have enjoyed that experience. He yeah. will party with oh, you. Yeah. He has no like we know, party. we know, we know how hard he parties because we partied with him. It's he three, rolls with Lemmy. Like I mean, two minutes. Oh. That's <laughs> a party right there. Right? He's a champ. He's yeah. amazing. Yeah. So uh, okay, we should probably talk about Heavy To. Um, you guys are on on the bill, and um, I saw you guys last year. I guess at Heavy MTL. Yeah, yeah. So you know. Uh, side note, side note, yeah. I'm wearing the exact same thing. <laughs> yeah? You haven't changed in one year. <laughs> exactly. I am bringing dirty. Very punk rock of you, man. Anyway, <laughs> Yeah, <sorry>. seriously. <laughs> um, you know, since that performance then, uh, you know, it's a year deep now. Um, where are you guys at with the live performance? You know, you do a festival like this, you're, you're, you're in front of fucking Slayer fans. You're in yeah. front of, you know, Megadeth fans. <laughs> I think we've really learned to... It, it's hard, like, going from playing club shows 
and then playing a huge festival like this, you really got to learn to take control of the stage and manage the stage, like, to make people back here see you, you know, like, yeah. okay. so, Dickinson, it's just, you just got to really move around and fucking put your all into it, in my opinion, and I think we do that yeah. pretty well, and we're, re like, always still learning and stuff, and watching all these bands just makes it so much better you learn from everyone but i mean we're getting there we're getting there the thing you, is you you have to take advice from from your idols and after seeing iron maidens that, that one documentary that you have yeah. bruce said straight up he's like you know what you you always want to be focused on the crowd and, and and all this but you also want to be focused on that one fucker who's at the very back and who's just like he's just he's just sitting there and he's waiting for somebody to say something to him right Dickinson knows it best, man. He's played so many amazing things and and done so much for metal that you have to listen to every word that he says because if you don't, you're well, you're fucked because he he knows what he's talking about. So you got to concentrate on on really making sure that everybody in front is having a great time and then everybody All right. Good is. Hey Adam. Do you Adam, come back. Yeah. Come back. He's, um, he's next anyway. Let's yeah. go on. Come on. You might as well just get in, in here. Get get in jump there. on in. Jump on in. Adam's here from Times of Grace. How's it going? <laughs> Are you a Maple Leafs fan? I am. Oh, you're I'm a Bruins sorry. fan. I'm sorry. You're sorry. a Bruins fan. <laughs> well, you're going down next here, bud. Thank you very much. I got a key to her. This interview just went to hell. What is going on? <laughs> the hell is happening? <laughs> um, P.S. These guys fucking killed it. Times of Grace. Honestly, Times of Grace. Probably oh. rocked it. One of the best bands out there right now. <laughs> that, that, that facial, that facial just proved it. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed that. Adam's very excited that the Bruins won. Fuck and the Bow Sox are doing really good. Yeah, Bow Sox. Hey, I hear you. I hear you. Um, yeah, you're a super huge. We talked about, yeah. were, you, were you excited about the... Better than the Jays. Were you excited? <sighs> okay, Better than that's... The Jays. I get it. I get now it. you're going below the belt, bud. <laughs> oh, I got it. Uh, <laughs> Were you happy about the Boston Bruins winning the Stanley Cup? Fuck no. Oh. Are you kidding? Are you a Leafs guy? I'm a Leafs fan. Yeah. What, are you kidding me? This is <laughs> This interview's this completely is fallen interview to seen. pieces. Um no no no, but seriously, yeah. I am a, I'm a huge Red Sox fan and fuck the Bruins. Honestly, uh, there's a guy out there. Can I can I just do this right now? Yeah. Hey Edie, fuck you. <laughs> we're going to win. We're going to win someday. Someday. <laughs> One of these days we're going to win. Bring it on, bring it on. Yeah. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Seriously, though, we're having the best fucking time here. And yeah, it's, heavy it's... T.O. Heavy T.O. What First can, what annual you that? heavy T.O. <laughs> um, what else do you got to ask? I got me? nothing else, really. Come All right. On. There's well, nothing much out. I can let's really. Let's go hang out, drink some beers, and just, uh, we got to go make fun of Adam for, li for liking the Bruins. That's it. That's yeah. it. We're going to go make fun of Adam. We're going to ridicule him to death. And all I want to say <laughs> is to all you Baptized and Blood supporters out there, Thank you so much, and thank you to Explore Music for uh, providing us with the yeah. best buddy, shit on buddy, the radio. Grozy. 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 Explore Music wears English laundry apparel.